Null Security Space, more commonly referred to as Nullsec in EVE Echoes, is an entirely different environment to what you will find in High Security Space ISEC. And what most of what you need to know going in isn't necessarily covered by the in-game tutorials. Unless, of course, you're looking for that subscribe button. As these are gameplay aspects that have come about because of the players themselves. So here we have five things that you'll need to know going into no security space for the first time in EVE Echoes. Number one. Unless you're specifically heading out to look for some random PvP action, join a corporation that already has its roots in Nullsec. Use the in-game recruitment system or the Discord recruitment channels to help you find that first corporation to join. Don't do what I did in my first Nullsec outing all the way back in EVE Online all those years ago, which was load up all of my assets into a hauler and set sail into Null looking for people to wave at. If you don't show up as friendly on grid, the odds are you'll get shot at on site, regardless of your motivations. Next up, we have the local window. In high sec, you might not typically have this open, as there is little purpose in knowing who's in the same system as you in high sec. In null sec, however, it's an entirely different story. The local window is how you gauge what level of caution you need to proceed with. Is the system full of friendly players who are coloured green, blue and purple? How many are red or neutral? This can influence if you undock, change your ship or even if you proceed to the next gate when moving between systems. If this window is closed when you're mining, you won't know to dock or cloak until after a hostile player has already started shooting at you. Keep this window open as long as you're undocked and pay attention to it. This act alone can save you a lot of isk. And that moves us on to the next item on the agenda, your intel channels. Most alliances have dedicated intel channels, whereby the movements of enemy pilots and any relevant information about them is shared. This is separate from the generic alliance channel in game to ensure that it is clear and easy enough to read, in addition to being available to other alliances where necessary. Keep this channel open and watch out for enemy movements when you're undocked and act accordingly. If there's a fleet roaming four jumps away and you're out mining, be ready to hit that cloak or dock on a moment's notice if that local window lights up with hostiles. So we've covered joining a corp, keeping an eye on local and joining your intel channels. Next up is going to be home defence. Home defence has multiple aspects to it. Sometimes you'll be helping out an indiv individual player in need who's just gotten caught out a bit. And at other times you'll be joining an organised fleet, such as a call to arms, otherwise known as a CTA. Whatever the scenario, always ensure that you have a disposable ship that you're happy to lose on a moment's notice, in defence of your fellow players. If you manage to kill the interceptor that has a war crawl pilot locked down before the interceptor's pilot's own fleet arrives, the odds are that war crawl pilot will cover your expenses if your much, short, much smaller and much less expensive ship goes down. And as for the fifth and final tip, don't go hauling all of your precious belongings solo into or through Hullsec when you join a corporation out there. There's never any guarantees that the path ahead is going to be clear and that juicy loss mail is really really going to hurt. Any small expensive stuff, such as nanocores, can go in a cargo scepter when you reach the relevant tech level. See my video on cargo scepters for more details there. And any larger goods that can be traded can simply be purchased from other players in Nullsec. If nobody is selling what you need, ask the indie guys in your corp or alliance. The odds are they'll be able to throw everything you need together within a couple of days. There also remains the option of using DR fraud 
to burn up some of your gift IP and move things along speedily, but that's a topic for a whole other video. So that about sums up my top tips for moving into NullSec. If you're already familiar with NullSec, feel free to leave your own tips in the comments below. And if you have your own questions, feel free to ask them. Who knows, a simple question could be the topic of a future video. But until then, fly safe or fly dangerously in New Eden, whatever your style. Oh, and maybe, just maybe, hit that subscribe button. <laughs>